Welcome back, everybody, for the second season of New York Knicks basketball here in my NBA 2K16 My League. We're getting things started off here in the first game of the season at home, hosting the Milwaukee Bucks. And I'm trying to do a new editing thing where I actually put transitions into NBA videos, which I haven't done, and I'm still messing with it. So some of the timings are a little bit off right now, but uh, you know, bear with me while I, uh, you know, get everything straightened out. So we're getting started early. We are up to a 7-6 lead, and Melo is driving into the paint right now, and he's going to make that layup right there. 9-8 game now, as Greg Monroe has it being guarded by Melo, and Giannis Antetokounmpo shoots it, and somehow Patrick Beverly ended up on him on a switch, so that basket is good. And now Giannis with the ball again, passes down low to Chris Middleton, who makes that layup right there. 14-9 lead for Milwaukee, now Michael Carter-Williams with a spin move right there, passes back door to Greg Monroe, and it's a goaltending on Hassan Whiteside. 18-11 game now as that ball is going out to Jerry Grant off the rebound. Melo is going to make a three in transition and that is going to be good. So that is an 18 to 14 game now. Nice defensive play by Nick Young but it goes right back out to OJ Mayo who passes it over and then it ends up down low to John Henson who makes that shot. 22 14 now. Knicks with the rebound all the way up to Nick Young. Rive running three from the corner and that is good 24 17 now a little bit later on doing a pick and roll with kelly olenic pass it over to nick young for another three and that would go in so nick young is helping us stay afloat right here offensively now kelly olenic with it again does an up and under move right there a nice nice sell move from the post right there now mellow driving in he had the open three he was in the triple threat stance but it makes it a two-point game now as the Knicks have the ball once again, and that one's over to Carmelo Anthony, and he will make that three right there. 30-29 to 29 game. Patrick Beverly guarding Michael Carter-Williams. Michael Carter-Williams stepping back with that jump shot right there, and that would go in a nice move from the Syracuse graduate right there. Avery Bradley over to Melo for a very short jumper. Wanted it to be a layup, but, you know, worked out for us anyway. Now Avery Bradley with a three-point attempt, and that would go in. 41-39 after we made a free throw and a nice dunk by Chris Stapps Porzingis. Nice find by Patrick Beverly on the pick and roll too. But we would leave John Henson wide open underneath the basket and that's not an area you can leave him open in. Now Milwaukee making a jump shot from the elbow right there. And Chris Stapps Porzingis making a jump shot of the elbow from of his own but he misses. But Hassan Whiteside picks it up and puts it back in from underneath the basket. Now Olenek rebounding up to Jerry Grant up to Nick Young making a three in transition. And he was hitting a lot of those this game. I believe he took 9 or 10, and he made about 4. So a very solid game from him in his debut. Now Kelly Olenek with a nice sh shot right there on the pick and roll. And now Milwaukee with the ball, and they are going to get a jumper with 2 seconds left. As you can see, the stats from the first half. We don't have as many shots, but we are doing a little better in the rebounding department. And now Mike Carter-Williams working his way into the paint. 4-point game now, and a risky pass down low to Hassan Whiteside, but he makes the layup right there. 
And Carmelo open in the corner. Pretty much, if you leave him that wide open, he's going to make any shot. 57-58 game now, and he's going to take a shot. And Kristaps Porzingis comes out of nowhere and makes a shot and one on the rebound putback layup. Now Avery Bradley defending, and he is not going to get that one. He's Chris Middleton is going to make that shot. Avery Bradley now with a transition layup puts us up by four points. And then Kristaps Porzingis on a pick and roll. Jump shot, he would stop before he would get pick up any defenders. Now a nice steal by Hassan Whiteside. Not a typical play from him. And then the outlet pass to Carmelo, and he's going to dunk that one down. Eight-point game now. It's a ten-point game as we work our way into the next highlight as it's a nice block by Hassan Whiteside, but neither Hassan Whiteside or Carmelo Anthony can block the putback attempt. And now OJ Mayo is going to make a nice layup right there, and so they're starting to work their way back a little bit on a rally. But Jerry Grant would make this jump shot, and it's funny thing, Hassan Whiteside pushed a player to the ground, but the basket had still gone in, so it would still count. And now OJ Mayo with it again, passed backdoor to John Henson. We couldn't really stop him in the post. We didn't really have anyone good to defend him. Now Nick Young making a transition layup right there. It's a six-point game as OJ Mayo would make that shot, and it would be a four-point game. And with the seconds winding down, we would give it over to Nick Young, and he would make a three right there at the buzzer to make it a seven-point game. And there was really no comeback from Milwaukee at that point. Jerry and Grant comes down with about 30 seconds into the fourth quarter and just makes a layup. And then Anthony on the breakaway is going to jam that one down. 73-90 now later on as Hassan Whiteside. I don't know how he committed a foul right there. I was just as confused as you probably are watching that. But it would turn into an N1. And now Porzingis with the turnaround J. And everything's just falling for us in this fourth quarter. Anthony over to Bradley. He's going to make that. And this team's just starting lineup just functions a lot better. Like Avery Bradley's actually scoring now which would barely ever happen. He'd never be in double digits at all, really, last year. But now this lineup just works so much better with a nice defensive center. Not Robin Lopez wasn't really the greatest defender in the world. And Porzingis starting really changes our lineup a lot, too. So it's this game's pretty much over. Ten-point game right now as the Knicks are going to run it right back down the court after Milwaukee just scored and get a dunk of their own. And then one more highlight right here with the game winding down. The Bucks are going to take a shot and miss it. And that would end the game. 107 to 95. So thank you guys for watching this opening game, and we'll see you in the next episode of the New York Knicks My GM.